Of late, there has been a clamor to impose president's rule in the state of West Bengal, which has a new elected government, a Trinamool Congress government. The opposition BJP and its leader in the state assembly, Shuvan Dodikari, met with the Home Minister, Amit Shah, in Delhi, asking for president's rule to be imposed. At the same time, the president of the state unit of the BJP, Dilip Ghosh, in Kolkata, said that the law and order situation was very bad and that he would be apprising the president of India about the situation there. So what is this president's rule? and this talk of Article 356. Before we go into that, suffice it to say, no liberal democracy in the whole world has such a provision in their constitution where the central government can dismiss a duly elected state government. Now, India and Pakistan both have it. It, is, it has been almost lifted ditto from the 1935 Government of India Act, Section 93. National leaders at that time had opposed it tooth and nail, and the British Raj never got to use it in the time that they were here. So till 1947, it had never been used. So what is Article 356? Article 356 is basically saying that a state of emergency exists in the state and the state government cannot function, it is unable to govern. So then president's rule is imposed based on Article 356 and the governor takes over. Now this can run for six months. Within two months, it has to be approved in parliament. And then it can be extended again for another six months, provided there is approval in parliament. In 1978, there was a Supreme Court ruling that president's rule can run for a maximum of one year unless there is a national emergency or the election commission says that it needs continuation of president's rule to hold elections in the state. The first time it got used was in 1951 when the Punjab government was dismissed by the central government. and. Since then, it has been used more than a hundred times. The current Home Minister in Parliament had said that it has been used 132 times, mentioning that Congress had used it 93 times, but that's a separate matter. Indira Gandhi holds the record 27 times she dismissed state governments. So after emergency, when the Janta government came to power in 1977, they dismissed nine Congress governments. And when Indira Gandhi came back to power in 1980, she dismissed nine opposition governments. So that's how it goes. Almost every state in India has seen president's rule, except for two new states, Chhattisgarh and Telangana. They are the only ones left where a president's rule has never been imposed. Chhattisgarh is currently a Congress state. Chief Minister Bhupesh Paghel 